I tried beating Terraria using the Universe of Swords mod. This mod introduces over 100 brand new swords into the game with completely unique abilities, giving a brand new experience to the melee class. Will I be able to beat the Moon Lord only using swords? Well, let's find out. I started off by spawning into the world with my puny little copper short sword and I started chopping down trees. I checked myself a couple of crafting recipes to see what type of swords we can actually craft and the very first sword I crafted was the dirt sword. This was slightly better than the copper short sword and all it required was a workbench and 25 dirt. Another very important part of this mod is that we needed to obtain sword essence for almost every single crafting recipe later found in the game. This sword essence was dropped by every single mob that we killed but unfortunately every mob only dropped one so making the grind very very real even later within the game. I started work on a elevator and once I came all the way back to the surface I actually went to go pick up some snow, some ice and then I crafted myself an ice blade. Along with this I crafted myself a stone sword but I used the ice blade as my main weapon. I went to go explore some caves, I dug up some ore and as I was making my way over to the left side of the world I discovered a brand new ore that I actually could not mine with the level of pickaxe that I had right now. I managed to die to a zombie and once I I came back to spawn, I shredded through a bunch of various different mobs during the night time using my brand new ice sword and got myself a little bit more sword matter. I made myself a furnace and anvil, I continued digging out my elevator, and upon crafting myself a tungsten pickaxe, I actually found more of that unminable ore in my underworld, so I went to go pick it up and using the titanium pickaxe we were actually able to do that. This ore was called Damascus Ore and it will come in handy when crafting a very special armor set from this mod and some other cool swords. After this I went all the way over to the corruption biome and blew up a couple of orbs. And then after this back at spawn I made myself the Louis AFK prison builder and built a bunch of NPC houses. I continued digging out my elevator in order to try to get all the way down to the underworld. I managed to pick up some ores in the process, picked up some more of the Damascus ore, and then upon coming back to spawn I built myself a bunch of platforms to make a mini arena for the Eye of Cthulhu because it was kind of time to fight one of our first bosses. I spent loads of time just checking the various different crafting trees of all of these swords because I wanted to see how far back these trees went and I realized that for some of these swords later in the game we were going to have to obtain many, many items. While I was in the corruption I actually got cocky and tried to fight the Eater of Worlds which managed to destroy me. I crafted myself a brand new sword called the Master Sword but once it turned to nighttime, I decided to go and fight the Eye of Cthulhu just so we could at least get one boss ticked off the checklist. Using the Master Sword we ended up defeating the Eye of Cthulhu. We only had 120 health keep in mind so this was very very clutch but upon defeating the Eye of Cthulhu we managed to get a brand new sword called the Cthulhu Judge which was actually very powerful and came in handy when defeating some of the other later bosses to come. I went to go dig out my elevator even more and I managed to make my way down to the underworld so I picked up a hellforge and came back to spawn. This is where I decided to make myself a full set of Damascus armor because we were going to need it later anyways but before getting a full set of armor I actually went over to re-challenge the Eater of Worlds and using the Cthulhu Judge we absolutely shredded through the boss. Upon defeating the Eater of Worlds we got a brand new sword called the Eater which shot out these little homing projectiles that would absolutely obliterate any mob that got in its way. As soon as I came back to spawn, I realized that we got invaded by the goblins, so we went to take on that. The goblin invasion, I'm not gonna lie, was kind of a piece of cake using the eater. I really love this sword and I wish there were more swords like this, but after the defeat of the invasion, I decided to make my magic mirror into the mirror blade, which just made us teleport home a little bit faster because after we swung the magic mirror sword, it would teleport us right away instead of waiting for the travel of the mirror. After all of this I crafted myself a nightmare pickaxe, got myself full Damascus armor and then went mining for obsidian. After we got enough obsidian I went to go get myself some hellstone and as I came back to spawn I went over to Skeletron's dungeon and using a brand new musket ball shooting sword I tried to take out Skeletron which then later I finished with the eater and we got a brand new sword called the sword of power which we couldn't actually swing but it was a very important material to craft some of the more important swords in the future. 
nature. I went into his dungeon, opened up a bunch of chests, picked up a bunch of water candles, and then swung my sword to come all the way back to spawn. I made myself the battler buffs just so we can increase mob spawn rates, and then actually crafted myself a sword called the Crystalis, which costed us 5 mana crystals and 3 stars, and this sword will come in handy as we can upgrade it bit by bit up until the mechanical bosses. Using a bunch of various resources, I managed to upgrade this sword all the way up to the Molten Shard, and then I went down to the Underworld to build myself an arena for the Wall of Flesh. I got myself a guide voodoo doll, finished up the arena, bought myself a bunch of buffs, and then got ready to fight the Wall of Flesh. I went down to the Underworld, and upon spawning in the Wall of Flesh, it actually managed to spawn in on the total opposite side of where I wanted to spawn, so to no one's surprise, with no platform whatsoever, I got obliterated. Since I had an infinite summon, I decided to come all the way over to the left side of the platform so we could be certain that the wall of flesh is not going to spawn on the right side of the world, and upon summoning in the wall of flesh again, it spawned on the very opposite side once more. This had me very very frustrated and I genuinely thought I was going to quit the game for certain. I went to summon in the wall of flesh a third time and this time it worked properly, and using all the various different swords we managed to take out the wall, putting us into hard mode. The first thing I went to go do was bless the world with all the hard mode ores, so we blessed it with ore calcum, palladium, and titanium, and then after this I went through the entire pickaxe progression by making myself a molten pickaxe, then getting palladium to get a palladium pickaxe, getting ore calcum to make an anvil and a pickaxe, and then getting myself a bunch of titanium. As soon as I came back to spawn we got invaded by pirates which was the most brutal thing of all time. We were very underpowered and still in early hard mode, making the pirate invasion an absolute devastating graveyard. For Boyo, that is. It took me forever to take out the pirates, but during this time I managed to get myself tons of sword essence and a cutlass, which was absolutely useless as it did not come in handy in any crafting recipes within this mod. We managed to kill ourselves a flying dutchman, and then after this I made myself a titanium sword as we can use that to craft ourselves another sword called the Orchrist. This was crafted using a titanium sword and upgrade matter, which was made out of 200 sword matter. So we made this sword, and after I crafted this sword, I went my Mining for more titanium, and upon coming back to the surface, we once again got invaded by goblins. The goblin army gave us a phenomenal chance at actually getting more sword essence, which we so desperately needed, and then after this I went over to the sky islands in order to farm out wyverns to get ourselves some souls of flight. While killing wyverns and harpies, I actually managed to get myself a brand new sword which was completely overpowered. The sky power sword did 21 melee damage, it swung extremely quickly, and it shot out these three different projectiles that absolutely demolished everything in its way. I managed to craft myself a set of fairy wings, I got full titanium armor, got myself the summons for all three mechanical bosses, bought a bunch of buffs, and as it turned to nighttime, I first summoned in the destroyer. Using the Orcrist and the sky power, we absolutely demolished the destroyer, and upon defeating it, we actually got a brand new sword called the destroyer sword. This shot out a bunch of rockets, so I tried to utilize it against Skeletron Prime, but the sky power sword was clearly more powerful so I used that to take it out. After this we got ourselves the prime sword which shot out a bunch of little lasers and lastly we went to go take out the twins. I got myself the twin sword which shot out this poisonous ball that spasmatism shoots at you and upon taking them out the jungle now grows restless. You know what else grows restless boyos? That is correct. The hair inside your nose if you don't subscribe to the channel. So if you don't want an embarrassingly hairy nose I recommend you subscribe to Boyo Boyo. I decided to fight the mechanical bosses a bit more just so we can get ourselves more hallowed bars for crafting, and then after this I crafted myself a full set of hallowed armor. I went over to the caverns in order to get myself more Damascus ore and bars so we can craft ourselves a upgraded version of the Damascus armor. There were actually three various different types that we could craft, there was the blue, green and red, each one giving various different buffs, but I decided to go with the red one which gave me more damage and far better defense than we previously previously had with our titanium armor. Once I had a full set of this armor, I went over to the jungle and then tried to find myself Plantera's bulb. I also picked up myself some Chlorophyte, and once I found her bulb, I built a tiny arena and then just summoned her in. Using the mechanical soul, which was the very last upgrade to that sword that I was talking about in the beginning of the video that can be upgraded all the way to the mechanical bosses, we absolutely demolished Plantera with no trouble whatsoever, and then after this I teleported back 
back home and then went over to Golem's temple. I got myself a couple of lizard power cells, built myself an arena inside of his temple, and then using the sword that Plantera dropped, which was called the Executioner, it shot out these green projectiles that are very reminiscent of the thing that comes out of the crystal when wearing chlorified armor, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And using the sword, we shredded through Golem, giving us the Golem sword, leaving us officially with only one more sword remaining before we could craft the very, very overpowered sword unique to the universe of swords mod. We only needed the lunatic cultist sword next, so logically that is the next boss I went to go and fight. Before this, I actually wanted to go and get myself a couple of broken hero swords for various different crafting recipes within this mod, so I summoned in a solar eclipse and then tried to take out as many mobs as I could. Using the executioner, we killed various mothrons, killed a bunch of different enemies, and then after this I went over to Skeletron's dungeon and summoned in the lunatic cultist. This boss fight was actually very very difficult because the projectiles were very inaccurate from the swords and we were very prone to missing his actual body, making the boss fight take absolutely ages. After defeating the lunatic cultist though, I managed to get myself a sword called the doomsday which shot out these fiery rockets, so using that I went to go defeat golem a couple more times just so we can craft ourselves a full set of beetle armor and then after crafting myself a full set of beetle armor, I went over to the ocean to try and fight duke fishron. To no one's surprise, I died over and over and over again. This boss was absolutely devastating. I decided to actually go and farm out some wyvern so we can get ourselves a better pair of wings which was the beetle wings and then I tried to challenge duke fishron once more. We managed to take him out this time giving us the duke fishron sword and giving us the ability to finally craft that one overpowered sword that I was talking about. I gathered a bunch of various different swords throughout our journey such as the sword we got from the eater of worlds, the sword that we got from the harpies, all the mechanical bosses, all the various different bosses, all the various different swords, and upon combining them I managed to craft myself the nightmare amalgamation. Check out how absolutely overpowered this sword looks not only in my inventory but on my character. This sword when swung creates three skull projectiles that home into various different targets and actually heal HP upon hitting the enemies. I went over to Skeletron's dungeon to get myself a bunch of ectoplasm so I could craft myself a brand new sword which was an upgrade to the nightmare amalgamation called the Scarlet Flare Greatsword. Upon crafting the sword we went to go take out the Stardust Pillar first, then we went to go take out the Vortex Pillar, we took out the Solar Pillar and then the Nebula Pillar. And once we took out all the pillars, my screen started shaking. I buffed up and then spammed my Scarlet Flare Greatsword at every single one of the eyeballs on Moon Lord to absolutely no luck whatsoever. We were dealing such little damage using the sword that I was very very underwhelmed. The projectiles were barely doing anything to him and it was nearly impossible to actually get up close to his hands to let the sword deal damage. After probably 10 minutes of fighting this boss, I just kind of decided to give up and let him kill me. But this wasn't the end of it because I decided to craft myself the true terror blade and then fight Moon Lord once more. Using this sword, we absolutely demolish Moon Lord and officially beat the universe of swords mod. There are so many various different swords that I didn't even get the chance to show you guys, such as all the post Moon Lord bosses like the Edge Lord that I have here and the Sword of the Universe itself. I mean, there are so many various different things that we still missed out on that you frankly need to check out for yourself. There was another sword that I actually managed to find within this mod called the Sword of the Multiverse. Just look at the way this takes out Moon Lord in literally like one shot. Look how massive it is on screen. Look at the projectiles it shoots. This sword is absolutely hectic and there are many different swords like this that we have not covered and of course I didn't get this legit like I, I did use a little mod menu to uh to actually obtain them I'm not gonna go through the crafting tree of this entire sword but yeah if you enjoyed this be sure to check out another video like this on the screen consider subscribing to the channel if you're new drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it this has been Boyo peace out